So here we leave. So you four, leave. four days later. Yeah, four days later. We won't talk about what happened in those four days. <laughs> but you see, we did a lot of circling there. We had forgot the boat papers on shore. And uh, so we had to circle around and go back and get them. After all that. Now you're trying to make best time to get up to the Strait of Gibraltar. Right, because there's another storm coming through. And oh, it, if it hits, we run. We're, we would be unable to make it through the Strait of, Strait of Gibraltar. There, a nice moonrise. Look at that. Did you know you were staying in Gibraltar at this point? Um, it would be about this time that the boat broker uh, called. Yeah. So here you go. Last yep. day of the journey, right here. Yeah. We actually had some pretty bad weather that day, and at one point, there, there I'm up driving uh, because the winds are pretty strong. They're putting in a reef. There you go, talking to investors again. Can't get away from work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You had this terrific tailwind at this point, right? Mm. Mm hmm We were very fortunate. Other than that uh, time off of Sable Island, that we had a tailwind the entire trip. Here we are. We see the uh, uh, another nice moonrise. Pretty soon here, you'll start to see lights on shore right underneath the moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. If you watch closely underneath the moon, you'll see the first hints of uh, land. Because you, you arrive at Gibraltar there, yeah. at night. Yep. You can see some ships. There's some there are the lights. The camera's doing this thing where it's increasing the exposure yeah. because it's dark, so it's kind of artistic motion blur there. The only time we actually almost ran aground was uh, as we were pulling into the port in Gibraltar. Um, we had a hard time finding actually where the marina was. And it's right next to the airport. And the end of the airport, uh, the charts and the the uh, our navigation on the computer said that there were lights, uh, but unfortunately they were burnt out, and so we almost ran aground on the the end of the runway in Gibraltar, having crossed the ocean to run aground on the rock. Yeah. No security or anything. Nobody pulls up and asks you who you are. And no, no. We are going in. I was down below trying to look at the, the electronic charts and had a handheld GPS to, as well. There, and we have arrived. And that's where the Griffin is today. We go up and there's this old, old man offers us a shot of whiskey and this is uh, around... Uh, Christmas time and uh, fill out our fill out our forms show them the passports and 